Alright guys, the Oryx challenge mode is finally out. We beat our heads against a wall for about an hour and a half while trying to figure out what the actual challenge was, and it turns out it's just to kill Oryx in one shot with 16 orbs. Here's the strategy that we used. As a side note, I'm going to assume that you know how to actually do the Oryx encounter while explaining this challenge mode. If you don't know, we have a written guide on our site that goes into it in more detail. Okay, so we had one dedicated runner, and everyone goes to their platforms like usual. I stayed up top and was on ogre killing duty. The fight would proceed as normal, and we made sure to drop the ogres right as they came up. It's imperative that the ogres do not move much from where they spawn, otherwise it will be very difficult to detonate all 16 orbs at once. So after all four ogres are dead, we collapsed to the center and waited for Oryx to clap. We staggered him, and then we just chilled in the center after he was staggered. We killed adds, ran around, grabbed some ammo, but the thing that we didn't do is detonate the orbs yet. Do not detonate the orbs yet. After about 15 or 20 seconds, Oryx will regain the favor of the darkness, and you guys will have to go kill the Shade of Oryx. If you've ever gotten Oryx 50% before, then it's just the phase where you're in a bubble and you have to shoot at him. If he casts Doxicology, it's a wipe, so kill him quick. After he dies, you will all be teleported back to the main area, and then you repeat this entire process three more times. On the last time around, there should be 16 big black orbs on the ground. It will probably be difficult to count them if you've been killing the ogres all in the same spawn points. Just mentally count the four rounds out. Every round, there should be four big pools of light. Okay, so after you've killed the ogres and staggered orcs for the very last time, you will have to detonate the orbs. Hopefully, they are all easy to get to because the ogres have been dying in the exact same spots. Have everyone detonate their orbs at the same time and then collapse back to the center. Be sure you guys are doing damage to Oryx before the orbs detonate so he will take the full damage. If you did it right, his health bar will go from 100% to 0% in one big burst. If it doesn't, it means you messed up somewhere or didn't detonate all the orbs and you should probably just wipe and try again. I completed it on hard mode and I got an emblem, a ship, a 320 and 310 artifact, a 320 helmet, although some people in the raid with me got a 320 weapon instead of a helmet. Then I went to Eris to pick up a shader, and then whatever else happened to drop from normally killing him. That was my total loot rewards. It's actually a lot of stuff. So to put it simply, let the orbs sit there every single round until there are 16 on the ground. Then detonate them. Yes, you can also have someone die, as we had someone die in our run and it didn't affect the challenge mode. Just be sure Oryx's health goes from full to dead in one big boom. We originally had a bunch of different ideas for what the challenge mode could be, but it ended up being the one I didn't consider originally since that kind of crashed the game as of last week. Glad they fixed that. Anyway, I hope you guys are able to complete this mode. I know for those that are trying to use the LFG, you're probably going to have a rough time since this does take a lot of coordination. If you're one of the groups that did the no night strategy, well, you're kind of screwed since the pools of light just go everywhere with that particular strat. If any knights eat up an orb, then you'll probably end up wiping, since I still think more than 16 orbs detonated at once crashes the game. I'll let the rest of this footage play out here. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.
Stay wary.